Hey everybody, this is Fragger and Jack, and we're once again back playing Alice Madness Returns. All right. Are we collecting more teeth this time? More more snouts? Snouts and memories. Memories, and, that's uh, right. Something you haven't seen yet, Radia Rooms, which give you more health. Ooh, that sounds fun. It is. But we are going to be hitting up the third part of uh, Chapter 2 in the... Uh, now we're in the level Oyster Gardens. Beds available. That's kind of creepy looking. Those are... What jellyfish. are those things? Creepy jellyfish. Yeah, we're under the water, actually, or under the sea, as you could say. Oh, okay. So you're like Ariel this time? Exactly. Even with that little, uh, she has a little tail right now, kind of like those deep sea fish that attract things. You kind of see it <laughs> those, there? See the little white dot? Those, those deep sea fish that attract things. Okay. Well, that's the, the little thing that they have on the front of their face that attracts other fish to be eaten. I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That, I just, that doesn't words make aren't it good sound today. less weird. Well, we're, we're talking about Alice nice. here, so it's going to be weird anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, we this is a little bit after the beginning of this section, and you're going to hop on over here. And, oh, look! Invisible platforms. This uh, this chapter also has probably the, one of the more dickish hey. uh, things ever coming up. What, <laughs> one of the more dickish things ever? Hey, you went, you went all Tron all of a sudden when you go under there. Well, yeah, because I went purple because I went small. Ah, so my, going small makes you purple now? Yeah, well, it did it the whole time. Oh, oh did it? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is part for a little reference. This is at uh, the uh, third puzzle, the fourth puzzle piece. Sorry, you have to collect to do this little uh, puzzle thingy. So, that uh, picture puzzle. Sorry, couldn't use my words. They're hard. Brain hurt. Uh, that's so cool Bam. looking, man. I, I love that idea that it's like stuff's always there, just invisible. Like I'm standing on one right now. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then, that's, uh, that's actually where collect the pieces to the right of that, but you were saying? I was say that's a cool mechanic, you know. I like that a lot. Yeah, instead of it kind of disappearing and you can't step on it, it's still there. Which is always, I love that too. Yeah. But, uh, this is at the very beginning of Lost Souls Locker after you fought the Lost Souls, which will have its own little video about that a little later. But, um, right after you fight him in the graveyard to the left is that snout winking away. Those things are so creepy looking, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something something about also... shooting like an, a disembodied snout. It's just like, uh, that's weird. The one with wings that are flying are even creepier. Yeah. Just, something's wrong. That's a friend yeah. Now, this is, uh, you can see there, that's right after the memory we just got. And you can see that little sign that it points. Instead of going where it tells you to, behind this gravestone is a hidden keyhole. Ooh. And I that's that's almost always the uh, the rule. It's like if it if it tells you to go one way, go the opposite of that, and you'll usually find something hidden, right? Yeah, it's usually how it goes. Damn that's almost all. That's almost all video games, though. Yeah. Now this is going to be a radio room we're about to get because we're going to get more health soon, or at least a quarter of a health pack, or rows, or things, or stuff, or pandas. Ooh, there's numbers on the the blocks. Yeah, it's kind of cool. They actually tell you like the order you should go on them. I don't know why, but I, I guess it's neat. No, sorry, this is a memory. <laughs> this one's just... I remember the radio room being really out of the way. That's right after this one. Yeah, oh, okay. bottom revisited. There we go. It's going to be, once again, behind something hidden. Wow. So that stuff only pops up when you go small, I guess? Yeah, it's a uh, shrink sense is what it's called. That's neat. Well, how'd, you, and, uh, how'd, how'd you get lucky and not fall off there? I knew it was there. You jerk. Brain meets. Well, when you when you don't have it on, you can see little purple sparkles kind of floating in the air that you oh, can okay. then uh, do. Like I kind of missed that when I landed back on the platform. Lucky. But um, yep. You can kind of see when it disappears. See little sparkles before okay. before I redid it. So you can kind of see them. And there's the radio room. Whoop. Nice. This is another big combat one. This is actually very difficult. I recommend playing it distance the entire time to get the final radio room we have to do. And then, boop. You that see is there. So creepy. Yup. And then we get an achievement for that. Hey, look at that. You were shooting the moon. Shooting the moon. Yup. And now that, uh, that, sound, that sounds like familiar, like another popular video game that came out recently. See that right there? That's an invisible snout we just had to shoot. Well, what? Yeah, you could just hear him winking, and I'm like, where the hell is it? And there's a giant pile of corpses that I was near. I'm like, where the hell is this snout? Shrunk, and then it was. I turned around, and there it was behind me, and I was like, "Son of a bitch!" See, that yeah, seemed, that seems like cheating, though. 
It is. There's actually one in the next chapter, too, that was really hard to find. But once you guys heard it oinking very faintly, and I had to hunt it down. So, Well, cool deal. Well, that's what these guides are for.